everyone, and welcome back to the Lord of the Rings Online. This is Glenoran here. Say hello to the nice people, Glenoran. What do you mean, no? I asked you to say hello to the nice people. Oh, that's right. Dwarves don't wave. I'm so sorry. Well, can you salute them then? Very good. Good boy. This right here is my main. He is my dwarf guardian who I've just started playing again on a rare, very um, frequent basis due to Isengard having come out. And uh, the fact that he's earning experience again for the first time in over a year. As you see down here, we've actually got some gold on our experience bar. It's been very nice. Um, I'm going to take him since, he, since yesterday we had such a failure of of Narlo not being able to take the horse race we're gonna run through it on Glenoran this time as you see he is a proper dwarf he's got his miners helmet on got his mining pick on his back he's all ready to go so let us put him on a horse this is the horse that you get for uh, this is the horse that you receive for buying the lowest level of the three Isengard sets. Um, this is a $29.99 set and you get the red, uh, red blanketed Isengard horse. And as you see, his name is Fire Topaz. Alrighty. Just like yesterday, um, we're going to start off, like I said, the first thing you really want to do is to ride around the course and make sure all the graphics have been loaded in. We're going to try writing it um, today, this morning, with all the graphics turned on. As you see, I run uh, DirectX 11 and with the graphics set on ultra high. So everything you can possibly run on this graphic set is running. So that's what we're going to try doing it. said first let's get all the graphics loaded in I'll run over to Bree then and once we get to Bree I will try and run the horse race there also but uh, I've learned from experience I'm not gonna be able to run it with the full graphics so I will turn it down all the way to very low which will make it uh, easier and once again give you an advantage whenever you're running this track it's a lot easier than it used to be um, in the old days, they actually had a race. You would have four of you up here, and the race would be run kind of like the dance. Every 20 minutes, you'd run a race, and there'd be up to four of you in the race. If you caught it at the right time, there would just be one of you, and the race was fairly easy to win at that point. You had a time limit. You had to make it around the course in, I think, 45 seconds, but uh, there weren't uh, there weren't the, the obstacles like those wagons and the tree in the way you had a couple of fences to jump you didn't have the bogs or they didn't slow you down at any rate so uh, it was a lot different but it was very much up to whoever had the fastest uh, internet connection and the best graphic cards okay the delving fields fall Could festival I take a race. moment of your time welcome welcome this is quite an odd event don't you think to race around on these great tall beasts i am not sure i like it at all but folk come from near and far to take a chance on this game and try to win a steed. The rules are very simple. Race through each gate and you mustn't fall off your steed before the time runs out. When you see two gates next to one another, you must choose which path to take, be it high or low. The low path may be muddy and the high is sure to be dry, but precarious indeed. There will be other hurdles to disrupt you as well. Do you fill up for this challenge? Only the most spirited rider should even attempt such a feat. It is sure to be very dangerous. I myself would never attempt such a thing. All right. So we're going to go over here and mount a horse. Um, being one of the small races, ho uh, hobbits and dwarves have to race on, have to race and ride on ponies. It's only humans and elves who can race on the horses. So here we go. We're going to mount up, and then we have started. Like I said, you jump fences try to cut as close as you can in between the gates we're going to take the low road through the mud and it does slow you down as you see your steed is slowed by sticky mire but as long as you don't blow any of the jumps you should be all right 
I'm also going to cut on the inside here. Oh, see, that right there slows you down, but hopefully not too bad. Don't miss this gate here. A couple easy jumps. Another bog. See the race counter still counting down. Now, fairly easy run back to the finish line, assuming that we don't get caught on any fences. Come on, come on, race, 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 race. Almost never lose this one, so let's see here. Uh, and we have done it. Very good. So now you go back to them. Usually, like I said, with the graphics turned on low level, or very low level, I usually finish it with a good deal more time to spare. That was cutting it a little close. Let's see Hello what he has there. to say. I have never seen such excellent writing in these parts, Glenoran. I am very impressed. You have truly earned the steed we offer as a reward for this year's special race event. Bring this token to a vendor at Hingstacer Farm and you may barter it for your new mount. So let's get the Harvest Mouth token. Harvest Math. All right, and we have the Shire token now. Um, most of the festivals, and I believe this one too, have two horses available. Um, so you need to get both two tokens, and you can trade them in for the various um, steeds. I haven't got either, haven't actually bought either of the um, Harvest Festival horses yet. So I'm glad to see it come back around and give me the opportunity to grab it. I do have most of the others. I will pull it up. Um, let's see here. Horse. Where is horse? Skills. It's listed under skills. Used to be they took up space in your inventory, but they're actually skills now. Mounts. As you see, I have a good collection of them. Both the spring ones, both the summer ones, both of the winter, uh, winter ones, but none of the ones from the Harvest Festival. So. My other primary mount is this one. And that's the Dusky Nimblefoot Goat. And that was the reward for having purchased the deluxe version of Mines of Moria when it came out. You can get these goat mounts as... I think you can actually get them in the store. You can also get them as the lowest level um, mount prize for having gotten faction. I believe that's correct. Faction with either the minor group or the or the uh, guardian group in Moria, but uh, there you go. Riding my goat. All right, so I'm gonna head on over to Bree now, and then once we get there, we will try that race. I can't promise it's gonna be as successful. Um, I've only actually finished that race successfully I know once possibly twice it just it's a I think a slightly longer course um, there's something about the obstacles in it that just are a good deal more complicated to me and I rarely able to complete it before the time runs out so I'm gonna go back to Michael Delving we're gonna take a quick trip over to Bree and then I'll ride from Bree up to the festival grounds and we will try our look at the horse races there okay we've arrived here in Bree at the festival grounds before I uh, click on Sally over here to get the race started I'm going to as I said we're gonna do this race a little different go into options and we're gonna turn our graphics down to instead of ultra high to very low Right, and we will accept that. And there you go. As you see, what the difference in the graphics is definitely a whole lot less detail and all and everything. Horses are a good deal more blocky. The ground has not got the texture. The trees have much fewer leaves. The sky is not as pretty. But still a very playable game. All right, we're gonna run around the course again to make sure all the graphics have been loaded in. And I've got to say, looking at my frame rate counter in the corner, I've gone from 
averaging about 20 frames per second with all the graphics turned on ultra high to I'm pegging the needle at 60 frames per second constantly which is what I've got um, the frame rate limit set to so okay so we can't go that that way so I'm pegging it at 60 frames a second, which is what I've got it set limited to. So if I hadn't had the set limited, it might be much higher than that. But, you know, I like pretty. I'm not doing anything that's incredibly... The, the combat in this game is not, you know, Twitch-style combat. If I was playing arcade-type combat, I might need the ultra-smooth flowing movement. But being as I'm not... I don't. I'd far rather look gorgeous. Could I speak with you a moment? Alright, greetings to you, stranger. You here to try out our obstacle course. Only the most experienced of riders will be able to master such a tricky path in the amount of time we have allotted. But the reward is great for those who manage to succeed. The rules are very simple. Race through each gate and you mustn't fall off your steed before the time runs out. High, low, we did all that. Do you feel up to this challenge? Only the most spirited riders should even attempt such a feat. Sure to be very dangerous, but you have a hearty look to you. So almost the same um, type of the same um, quest text that you get from the the uh, Hobbit race master, but just slightly different. Doesn't mention how he'd never get on such a tall steed. Let's grab our race pony and off we go. Okay, now let's see if we can't pull this off for you. You seem to be jumping much further for some reason, but I don't know what that's about. Alright, we're gonna get into the bog again. And that's one thing I've discovered I cannot do. I cannot do that run across and make the jumps. Okay, one place we're not gonna be able to do is I cannot jump these wagon handles, the, the wagons, uh, what do you call them, yokes. It's not exactly a yoke, but I can't remember. It's what the yoke connects to. Can't jump those like you can over at the, ho at the Hobbit field. But no matter, if everything works okay, we should be able to finish this. Oh, uh, that may have cost us right there. Still got a little time. Come on, come on, come on. Get it, 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 get it. Get it. Hey, we have made it. All right. First thing we do is turn these graphics back on. There we go. Yeah, much nicer. You can see the grass and there's leaves on trees and shadows. I feel like I put glasses on. What can I do for you? It is rare to see such excellent writing in these parts, Glenora, and I am very impressed. You have truly earned the steed we offer as a reward for this year's special race event. Bring this token to a vendor at Hingstasa Farm and you may barter it for your new mount. So I'm going to get both of the, the race tokens. Which you'll notice I have two of them now. One there, one there. Because I do believe there are two horses that are available. So we're going to set them right here. And then Glenoran's gonna have to go around and earn a whole bunch of festival tokens so that he can trade them in because I believe you have to have mm, X number of tokens. Tell you what, I'll run up to Hingstaser in the amount of, in the interest of full disclosure. We will run up to Hingstaker, Hingstaser Farm and take a look at what exactly it is that you need to hand in. along with the actual token that you've won the race. They're just a short distance right up here from the festival grounds, basically head direct north. You'll see another horse path with some gates. This is one of the things I believe it's been a, such a long time, um, 30 levels ago, back whenever I was first playing Glenoran, you had to be level 35 before you could get your first horse, not 20. So uh, that's been oof, about four years ago that he got his horse riding skill. And 
I do not remember what all was required, but I think you actually had to race around that little track there as well. Here's the Fall Festival Horse Trader. He is only here during the festival times. So let's go to barter items. What can I do for you today? All right, as you see, you need your race token, and there are two, the Autumn Fest Steed and the Sable Harvest Math Steed. So you've got two of them. All right, you need your token. You need a document of account ownership, of mount ownership, which you have to buy here at the thing. If you haven't purchased a horse before, it cost, I'm wanting to say, four gold and 600 silver. If you have bought a horse before, it costs like one and a half gold to get one of these. And then you need 20 tokens. So I'm going to have to get 40 tokens and two documents of ownership. And I think I've only got about a gold on me right now. So I need to go out and grind, oh, about another two gold or so and get 40 race tokens as well. So there you go. We will be saying goodbye to Mr. Glenoran here. I don't suppose that you want to uh, wave to the people. No, I didn't figure you would. All right. Well, we'll say goodbye to Mr. Glenoran, and then we will see if we can find what Narlo is up to.